Hey, welcome back to Brain Tease TV. Today I'm going to tell you about a little problem I encountered whilst trying to charge my Ionic and what I did to resolve it. So stick around and I'll tell you exactly what happened. So a few days ago, I decided to pull off the motorway to get something to eat and Naturally, what I normally do is charge up whilst I'm shopping or whatever. So, you know, find the Ecotricity charger, plug the car in. Nothing. I thought, okay, right, do it again. Plug it in, unplug, plug it in, do the whole scanning barcode thing. Nothing. So I thought, that's strange, it's never done that before. So I just thought, well, maybe the charger's not working. And I moved to another one, same thing. Um, there's a red symbol on the dashboard saying, uh, it's saying it's plugged in, but then it keeps getting an error saying the car cannot, you know, the charger cannot communicate with the car or vice versa. So I thought, okay, I didn't really need to charge. I had enough to take me home. So I left it and I went home and plugged in with my three pin, nothing okay so now i'm starting to get worried so i thought okay maybe it had a little bit of a blip and it needs to be plugged into maybe if i try to plug into one of the fast chargers or one of the you know the shopping centers whatever so i drove down to aldi's um used um one of the chargers there same thing it just just would not charge just no communication so i knew i definitely had a problem so i left i went home i think i had about 40 percent um left and i couldn't even call hyundai it was sunday so i just decided i'm gonna just you know have a look and see do a little bit of research and it turns out that um there's a, a problem sometimes with the charging actuator um where you hear this clicking sound and you'll hear in my you know when i'm showing sure the next part of the video uh, a clicking sound inside the cabin but it just won't connect and i think what happened is the car runs through a series of um, checks before it actually initiates a charge and one of the check is to make sure that the um, the charge you plugged in is actually locked so it's, it's locked um, if it's not locked then the car will it will it's just gonna fail the test and then the charge the car will not accept the charge so have a look and see exactly what happened so as you can see the charger is plugged in is powered on okay so just gonna Plug the charger in. But if you can hear, you can hear the relay clicking. And have a look at the dash. You can see that it's showing you that it's plugged in, but there's no charging going on. Okay. So what we'll have to do, come around to the boot and if I can just get this tray out right, look at that tray and then you see down there you've got the charge lock manual release handle right, which is this one right so what I do is give it a couple of tugs right I think it works better if you Remove the charger and reinsert it, then go straight to the cable and while it's trying to make a connection, give it a couple of clicks, a couple of tugs until you see the charging comes on. It will just eventually release. See, right, just heard it connected. So if you come back and look, you can see that it's starting to charge. Okay. If you look at the charger, you can see the charger tells you it's charging. And that's how you get yourself out of a jam if your charging actuator is playing up. Um, you will need to take it to Hyundai, take it to the main dealer to get them to replace it which I'm going to be doing um, 
shortly after this video. So there you have it. It's not a fix, but it will get you out of a sticky situation, get you out of a jam. You don't want to get caught out with no charge. So if you like the video and it and you probably think it's helped you, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and we'll catch you on the next one. And as always, be safe.